What is up everybody? So we're gonna be going over triggers in this section here and very simply What is a trigger a trigger is when something happens then something else will happen if You get in trouble with the police. You now have a record very simple if you throw a ball at somebody they will get hit very simple so in here what we're going to do is just going to go through here and make this a uh, little simple and we're going to go over a few things going to just grab this workflow it's completely empty completely blank and now we always have to start off here with the trigger a trigger will make something happen if you don't have a trigger you you have to make it go into this workflow so in this case we're talking about triggers so let's start off with triggers Triggers are any of these that are here in go high level. So within this, we can do an order submitted, a payment received, an invoice, order uh, form submitted, uh, product uh, completed, user login, things like that, new sign up. Um, your, your imagination is to your heart's content here. Um, and uh, an opportunity to switch from in, in a different stage in a, in a pipeline itself. But, you know, appointment status, you know, this is what I utilize for a lot of my, my calendars. So I'm just going to keep it very, very simple here. And we're going to start off with, with this. If a contact has changed. Now, what has changed can be anything. So we'll come in here, add a filter. And now coming in here, we can start off with, you know, if it's, if it's assigned to somebody, that's going to be a filter for it to come in. So if it's not assigned to you or a particular person, then, you know, um, that's just what that is. So whether or not it's, it is assigned or not, D and D list or not tags or not, you know, whatever. So we can sit here and say, Hey, if, it, if the tag is, and it's been added and they have, you know, one day, right. That there is then going to be a, is us being able to kind of filter this out and say, hey, this is has this tag. It's going to come down here through this workflow. But we're not going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and pick out a field. So if you're working with like a bot or something like that, um, you know, where there's going to be things that will happen, such as you know, you ask a question and, and you know, uh, uh, something's going to be updated. So in this case, we'll just take this condition here and I do a lot of uh, real estate. So you'll see a lot of uh, real estate related things here. But again, this is where you can make things happen in your own. So in this case here, we're just going to go through and say, uh, if the condition is added and what is that, let's just say if the condition is excellent. So we can utilize any of these functions that are in this type, this uh, uh, file or this field here. Now this particular field is a drop down, so it has excellent, good, average, poor, and teardown. So now I can sit here and say, hey, if it's good or you know or excellent, it's going to come down through here, or an average, or poor, or teardown, whatever. So we'll just go ahead and leave it at excellent. And you know from here we can also then go through and add in other things. So again, if the, and if that user has, is assigned to it, uh, being whoever that assigner is, yes, that there can work. But in this case, we're just going to keep it very this very simple and say, hey, if this has been changed to excellent, we'll go ahead and keep that. That is the start of this trigger. That is if that field in any contact has changed to excellent, this workflow is going to uh, fire off. So now we want to sit there and say, hey, this is this is uh, an excellent condition. So now we want to sit here and say, like, let's say we want to send out a, uh, an SMS. I will utilize this here to put in our custom value, which is our contact. I first name the property looks great. Love to make an offer, right? So now in this situation, when that field, when the condition is added and is excellent, then it's going to fire off this SMS. Well, then now this is where you can go through and start doing all kinds of things. 
And now let, let's say uh, we want to add a task. So, you know, uh, excellent. Uh, uh, and we're going to assign it to somebody. I'll assign it to myself. And we can say that it's due in, you know, let's just say now, right? Now we have that, that, there, that it is due now. It's assigned to me and it's uh, due now. Now we'll go ahead and save that. So then again, back in here, the trigger, the trigger happens. That field has changed. Now it's going to send out a text message to that contact. And it's also going to add a task to me. So very simple. That's how that's uh, working. Now from here again, now you can go through and say, um, let's do a go to and we will go through and add this, uh, look at adding this into a workflow. So we're going to do a add to, and now this is where we can go through and pick out, you know, whatever workflows that we want to. Now this is going to happen. Now contact has changed. SMS goes out, creates a task for, for me. And then now it goes into a different workflow. So very simply, if then. If this happens, then this, all this here will happen. And that my friends is the breakdown of what an actual trigger is. You know, that's pretty much where all your workflows and automations are going to pretty much be coming from because you're going to need to understand that. Now they can get it more advanced by adding in uh, other variables in here. That'll be later on. So stay tuned.